can you all see me can you all hear me so here we are with the most awaited recall of this year the exam which is attempted by almost every medical student who is preparing for pg entrance need pg so this year need pg was conducted on uh 3rd of august and today i am here to discuss the questions that were asked in need pg psychiatry so we could recall six questions in total i have shared this pdf on instagram telegram whatsapp already and here i am to discuss this time all the questions were clinical no one liner all case scenarios or longer length questions four out of six were soluble from dvt and main notes board but two questions were from main notes so overall six out of six were soluble from notes but uh, two from main notes only and six four from dvt and six from main notes over so shall we discuss dr ms you are there with us live anyone else who's attending live okay yesterday also i took this recall session so it's a kind of repeat for those who attended the yesterday mega recall so 21 year old female presents to emergency department with complaint of amnesia of the events of the last two weeks after witnessing her sudden father's sudden death so what is the key factor here one is a sudden death due to rta rta means road traffic accident road traffic accident is a major trauma after a major life threatening precipitating trauma we can have either acute stress disorder or ptsd the symptoms are flashbacks of the event flashback is the question correctly recalled or do you need any changes is the correction question correctly recalled many of the students marked it as ptsd just by looking at flashbacks so many students have messaged me sir i did a silly mistake i think we have spoken about it less than one month acute stress more than one month ptsd somebody was asking me why not adjustment disorder adjustment disorder is after a gradual trauma not after a sudden trauma dissociative will have absolutely different symptom although amnesia was present but uh, it is not dissociative disorder could you mark this question correctly in the exam have you understood the answer of this question after a major life threatening emotionally intense trauma uh, witnessing her father said there are symptoms of intrusiveness in the form of flashback these symptoms when present for less than one month duration are suggestive of a diagnosis of acute stress disorder this is the question this is the answer this is the explanation adjustment disorder happens after a mild to moderate routine life stressful event example financial loss exam failure breakup etc and the symptoms are mild moderate depression and anxiety the same thing we spoke in dvt after a major life threatening trauma less than 1 month acute stress more than 1 month ptsd did you notice that i marked flashback 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 so many students have message sir i mark ptsd looking at the flashback are flashback can be seen in both okay next question does anyone remember the image of amitabh bachchan shown by me of this personality parampara pratishtha anushasan the movie mohabbatein gurukul perfectionist rules order regulation perfect strongly believes in high moral principles ocpd obsessive compulsive personality disorder also known as anarchistic personality disorder some student mark this also as narcissistic see narcissistic will have self love paranoid will have suspiciousness and dependent can't take decisions So I think it was easy question on personality disorder. Could you answer this correctly? I told you personality disorder is a free gift from the examiner. You always mark personality disorder question correctly. Personality disorder is a free gift to you from the examiner. 
you always mark it correctly and i think in dvt we spoke about preoccupied with rules regulation perfection symmetry orderliness and cleanliness come on those who are attending live can you answer me in the chat could you answer this question correctly in the exam yesterday Thirty-five year old man found wandering in another city by a social worker. When questioned, he appears confused about his identity and cannot recall how he arrived there, which was hundred kilometer far from his home. But that was hit by an earthquake. Is the question correctly recalled? Is the question correctly recalled? Yes. Hundred and ten kilometer travel. Cannot recall how he arrived. Does not know where he is. Dissociative view. A similar question was asked last week in FMG. Did you, any one of you, see FMG recall video before uh, NEET PG? Did any one of you see that? In fact, I posted FMG questions and answers on uh, Instagram, WhatsApp, Telegram also, so that you could see. Twenty six uh, July, FMG was conducted. Fugue was asked. Third August, NEET PG was conducted. Fugue was asked. So it could be that the examiner is same. It could be that the examiner is still traveling and looking for his identity. can be anything only memory loss amnesia memory loss plus travel plus different place few dvt memory loss plus travel reaches a new place assumes a new identity dissociative view only memory loss amnesia page number 956 some students were saying this question was not there this murder question was there patient of having psychiatric illness murdered somebody was this question there no history of mental illness presents after murdering another individual he reports having paranoid delusion that the person was plotting against him which drove him to commit the act which is the next best step in the legal and clinical management of the patient it is not guilty till you do a proper psychiatric evaluation you cannot the uh, tell the patient to be guilty or not guilty okay to ascertain whether the delusion was present or not to overall mental state examination before starting the court trial to know guilty or not guilty it is mandatory to get a psychiatrist opinion as per the standard protocols were you aware about this that a psychiatrist opinion is required if somebody claims for an insanity defense that i murdered because he i was having a delusion or something i thought that he is about to harm this was an interesting question whenever he sits down he hears birds flapping the wings bird flapping this is a sign from the god directing him to move in a specific direction to stay safe when he goes out the birds chirping in another way god communicates with him yes mr k denies that was there in that question yes i know so it is delusional perception actually delusion always starts with delusional mood delusional percept then sudden delusional idea
and then become delusion delusional mood means only the emotional part then perception and then become thought so what is delusional perception giving a new false meaning to a normal perception bird flapping wing meaning signs from the god to see any normal perception giving a new meaning do you remember first triangle symptoms of schizophrenia do you remember which example was given in the class some students are walking outside the classroom and making a sound with their feet tuck 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 and i feel as if an army is approaching us okay Responding well for last two years, now presented with orofacial dyskinesia, coriform tick-like movement, possible dystonia. What can be probable? This patient is taking haloperidol for long term, long term, long term haloperidol, tick-like movement, possible dystonia. What can be the probable diagnosis and treatment? Come on. Two years orofacial dyskinesia, tardive dyskinesia. The treatment is valbenazine. Could you answer this question correctly? Long term haloperidol for two years orofacial movement points towards tardive dyskinesia for which the treatment is valbenazine. I don't think so. Any question was not doable this time. If you have not marked it correctly, that means either you didn't remember or you did some silly mistake. Because as far as I can see, most of these were doable. Not for me, but at your level. Because these were already covered and most of you were knowing it. So that is all about the six questions of psychiatry that we have for today. Any questions, any doubts, please ask. Otherwise, we'll close this session today. Okay, tell me those who are attending live, how many out of six you were able to answer correctly? How many out of six you were able to answer correctly? Okay, good. Good. Good Kalpana. Okay, so we conclude this session here. These were the six questions. Wish you all the best for results. Thank you so much.